Welcome to my video tutorial on pronation and supination. Pronation, it is defined as in anatomical position, back of the forearm and dorsum of the hand are directed in front with radius crossing the ulna. Mechanism of action, during pronation, radius actively rotates around the ulna. While doing so, head of the radius spins medially within the annular ligament around a vertical axis. Meanwhile, lower end of the radius rotates forwards and medially around the lower end of ulna, which also slightly rotates backwards and laterally, so that the fibrous bands of interosseous membrane get spiralized. Muscles producing the pronation movement, they are pronator quadratus and pronator teres, both belong to flexor compartment of the forearm. Pronator quadratus is a prime mover. It arises from lower part of anterior surface of shaft of the ulna. Gets inserted onto the lower part of anterior surface of shaft of the radius. When it contracts, it rotates the lower end of the radius around the lower end of ulna. Pronator teres. It arises in the form of two heads, humeral head and ulnar head. Humeral head arises from the area in front of medial supracondylar ridge of the humerus. Ulnar head arises from medial surface of coronoid process of the ulna. It gets inserted onto the middle one third of lateral surface of shaft of the radius. When it contracts, it rotates the shaft of the radius around the shaft of the ulna. Let's understand this by looking at the following video clip. Here is the pronator teres with its origin sites with two heads inserting onto the radius. When it contracts, it causes rotation of shaft of the radius around the ulna. Here is the pronator quadratus, a quadrilateral shaped muscle origin from the ulna insertion into the radius. Its contraction causes rotation of lower end of the radius around the ulna. Coming to the supination, it is defined as in anatomical position, front of forearm and palm of the hand are directed in front with radius and ulna lying parallel to each other. Mechanism of action, supination is bringing the pronated forearm back to the anatomical position where head of the radius spins laterally within the annular ligament around a vertical axis. Meanwhile, lower end of the radius rotates backwards and laterally around the lower end of ulna, which also slightly pushed forwards and medially, so that interosseous membrane get despiralized. Muscles producing the supination movement are supinator and biceps brachii. Supinator it is the muscle of extensor compartment of forearm. It arises in the form of two heads, superficial head and deep head. Superficial head arises from common extensor origin from lateral epicondyle of humerus, whereas deep head arises from supinator crest of the ulna. It gets inserted onto the upper part of lateral surface of shaft of the radius. When the muscle contracts, it causes lateral rotation of upper end of the radius. It is powerful supinator in extended elbow. Coming to the biceps brachii. It is the muscle of flexor compartment of arm region. It arises in the form of two heads, short head and long head. Short head arises from coracoid process of scapula, whereas long head arises from supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. It gets inserted onto the radial tuberosity of the radius in the form of a tendon. It also gets inserted onto the posterior border of ulna in the form of bicipital aponeurosis. When it contracts, it causes lateral rotation of upper end of the radius. It acts as a powerful supinator in flexed elbow. Let's understand these muscles by looking at the following video clip. Here is the supinator muscle with its superficial head and deep head. Here is its site of insertion onto the radius. Both the heads of supinator muscle has spiraled fibers. When they contract, they cause lateral rotation of upper end of the radius. 
which is the opposite movement done by the pronated teres muscle biceps brachii tendon it inserts onto the radial tuberosity when it contracts it causes lateral rotation of upper end of the radius and it acts as a powerful supinator in flexed elbow the point to be understood here is the power of supination is more strong than that of pronation which is why all screw introducing devices are made to use supination for mechanical advantages joints involved in the pronation and supination movements are superior middle and inferior radioulnar joints superior radioulnar joint is a pivot variety of synovial joint where the disc like head of the radius rotates within the annular ligament around a vertical axis middle radioulnar joint is a syndesmosis variety of fibrous joint it is formed by the parallelly arranged fibrous bands of interosseous membrane which gets spiralized during pronation the membrane is relaxed in full supination and in full pronation whereas it is stretched out in mid prone position of the forearm as the radius and ulna are placed at their maximum distance which is helpful in distributing the forces coming from lower end of the radius equally on to the ulna so that displacements of the elbow joint are likely to be prevented which is why the mid prone position of the forearm is used in most of the defense gestures for powerful kicks coming to the inferior radioulnar joint it is also a pivot variety of synovial joint where the head of the ulna rotates over a triangular shaped articular disc coming to the axis of these movements it is an oblique axis of rotation it passes through center of head of the radius through the radial tuberosity along the interosseous membrane and the interosseous border of ulna reaches the junction between the head and styloid process of lower end of the ulna range of these movements in flexed elbow supination and pronation produce 140 to 160 degree rotation where the supination is more than the pronation whereas in extended elbow they make 360 degree rotation of the forearm with the help of rotation at shoulder joint here is the end of this video where we have learned about the pronation and supination movements with their definition mechanism of action muscles and joints involved axis and range of the movements thank you for watching